Good evening, folks, and welcome to Heavy Metal Talk. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Ursh, and this week we are doing the top ten Megadeth songs. Pimping the t-shirt for you guys. Really psyched about this. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, um, because I did the Slayer top ten, uh, then I did the Metallica top ten, now it's time for Megadeth. Uh, one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, in music period, not just heavy metal. Uh, an incredible band, cherished member of the big four of thrash metal. Uh, and that's one of my favorite genres, thrash metal. Uh, and certainly Dave Mustaine is one of the forefathers of thrash metal. We all know his history, I'm sure. He started as a member of Metallica. He was their original guitarist. And uh, he got kicked out of the band because of his drunken... Uh, drugged out craziness, which is saying a lot because Metallica was very drunk themselves all the time. So <laughs> their nickname was Alcoholica, so they were pretty damn bad themselves. So for him to be that bad, to be kicked out of Metallica, he had to be bad. <laughs> um, but at any rate, thank God he did because he started Megadeth, which is another incredible band. So now we got two amazing bands, Metallica and Megadeth. Thank God because... I can't live without these two bands, you know? <laughs> uh, just so many amazing songs. Now, I could do honorable mentions all day long, you know? Uh, but I'm going to give a few honorable mentions. Uh, first one being Skin O oh My Teeth uh, from the Countdown to Extinction album. Great way to start up the album with a song all about Dave Mustaine and dealing with his drug crazed, alcohol fueled uh, craziness. <laughs> Next up is Wake Up Dead from the Peace Sells But Who's Buying album. Uh, another classic track that I wanted to put on the top ten, but uh, it was tough. Uh, next up is a great soundtrack song from, this, from the movie uh, Last Action Hero, and that's going to be Angry Again. Amazing song. Uh, so Megadeth had a few really good songs from movies. Uh, next up, Rust in Peace Polaris, uh, of course, from the, the great, the legendary Rust in Peace album. Also, Tornado of Souls from the album Rust in Peace. So many amazing songs on Rust in Peace. Uh, last honorable mention is going to be The Mechanics, which is from the Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good. That was their first album. Uh, and you might notice that it sounds a little bit like The Four Horsemen, which is on... Metallica's Kill 'Em All album. Why? Because the Mustaine wrote that song, you know? And that was kind of his way of, you know, kind of throwing it in their face a little, you know, hey, I wrote this song, F you. <laughs> Megadeth was almost kind of created to get back at Metallica in a way, you know? Uh, but again, thank God they did, because amazing band. Uh, so let's get to top 10 here. And number 10 is going to be The Conjuring. <laughs> Uh, which is a song that Megadeth doesn't play anymore. Why? Because it's dealing with black magic rituals and uh, the devil conjuring the devil. Uh, he says in the song, Don't conjure the devil. Don't call the priest. You know? <laughs> and uh, the reason they don't play that anymore is because Dave Mustaine uh, is a born, was a born-again Christian. You know, he, he went to the dark side and it really messed with him. You know? <laughs> uh, so... And I like songs that you're not supposed to listen to, you know. <laughs> uh, so next up, number nine is going to be Psychotron from uh, the Countdown to Extinction album. I love that song. Uh, every time I hear that song, I think of the Terminator, you know, for some reason. Yeah. Uh, and I love Dave Mustaine's uh, snarling, growling vocals on that song. Uh, just awesome. A great guitar work, really heavy. Uh, number eight is going to be In My Darkest Hour. Of course, you knew that had to be on there. This was a song that uh, Dave Mustaine wrote uh, right after the death of Metallica bassist Cliff Burton, who he was great friends with. Uh, he was in Metallica with Cliff Burton. Uh, yeah, it's all about loneliness and despair and isolation. Uh, number seven is going to be Go to Hell. Yes, another soundtrack album from the movie Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. <laughs> I didn't say these were great movies, but I'm saying this is a great song because it's heavy as hell. Uh, awesome vocals from Dave Mustaine. Amazing guitar work. B 
badass song. <laughs> Number six is going to be Symphony of Destruction. Megadeth's biggest hit of all time, easily. Uh, this is the the song that really put them over, you know. Well, of course, from the Countdown Extinction album, which was their most successful album, I would say, uh, commercially. And uh, next up is going to be uh, number five is going to be Peace Sells. Yeah, a classic track from the Peace Sells, but who's buying? Absolute classic. Everybody knows, <laughs> you know, and you will never go to a Megadeth uh, concert and not hear that song. You got that amazing bass intro by uh, Dave Ellison. Uh, so that's another great thing. Dave Ellison's been with them from the beginning. Uh, Megadeth, he's one of the original members, uh, and he's... The only constants in Megadeth have been Dave Mustaine and Dave Ellison, you know. Uh, other than that, it's been kind of a revolving door of drummers and uh, guitarists, but those are the two constants, um, and they're like brothers, you know. They did fight for a while at one time, and they did kind of go their separate ways for a couple of years, but thankfully they made up and they got back together, and it's great. Uh, it all is right with the world. <laughs> Next up, number four, is going to be Hook and Mouth uh, from the So Far, So Good, So What album. Uh, another awesome album, and this song is just amazing. Whenever I hear it, I get so hyped up. Uh, and you got It's a great song. Uh, the thing about Megadeth is they have messages in their songs, you know. Their, their lyrics are very intelligent, and this album is no different. Uh, this song is all about censorship and, you know, the whole... Tipper Gore thing, which she was trying to, you know, uh, ban albums uh, for co explicit content and, you know, putting the sticker, the labels on the albums, you know, that's what that song's all about, really. Uh, and then next up, number three is going to be Sweating Bullets. <laughs> awesome song uh, from Countdown Extinction. Awesome video, too, if you haven't seen it on, like, uh, it got a lot of airplay on uh, MTV for a while. And it's really heavy. It's one of the heaviest songs I've ever seen on, like, MTV and stuff. Um, yeah, one of the best songs off Countdown, Extinction. Uh, probably the best song, I would say. Awesome Drum Work uh, by Nick Menza. Now, to me, that was the best era of Megadeth as far as the musicians. The best lineup you had. Nick Menza, Marty Friedman, uh, an amazing uh, virtuoso guitarist. Um, you know, to me, that was the strongest lineup that era of the band. Uh, next up is going to be Holy Wars, The Punishment Due. <laughs> Absolutely incredible song. Uh, so fast. This is definitely speed metal at its best. Um, and again, you got a song with a message, powerful message all about war and religion causing war, you know, as the basis for war, you know. Uh, and it's really messed up how in, in life we go to war over religion and stuff, you know. Um, so that's what that song is all about. It's very intense. It's awesome. It's incredibly well paid, uh, played. And of course, number one is going to be Hangar 18. <laughs> and uh, not only is that my favorite Megadeth song, that is my favorite heavy metal song, period. <laughs> so if there was a heavyweight championship belt uh, for heavy metal songs, it would go to Megadeth, in my opinion, because... Hangar 18 is an absolutely phenomenal song, you know. Why? Because of the incredible build-up, uh, the way the tension mounts and uh, the intensity get, uh, gets further and further as the song goes along. And, uh, and that second half, when that second half kicks in, that breakdown uh, with the amazing playing, uh, not only the awesome lead guitar, uh, awesome leads from Marty Friedman, and Dave Mustaine, respectively, going back and forth with awesome solos. Uh, and in the background, you have the amazing drum work from Nick Menza, and you've got the... going on in the background. And that's really intense, too, and so driving, you know. Uh, just amazing technical playing. And uh, I've never heard a song that just builds up and builds up until an absolute... Uh, crescendo where you know it's just explodes it's amazing you know um, yeah so Hangar 18 for me in that number one uh, of the top 10 Megadeth songs uh, so this was a lot of fun guys I love talking about Megadeth I love talking about heavy metal 
I'm such a big fan, a big Megadeth fan. As you guys see me wearing the Megadeth shirts all the time, you know, <laughs> whenever I do my reviews and all that stuff. Uh, just an incredible, incredible band. Uh, and Dave Mustaine is an amazing uh, musician and a, a very interesting personality. I've read his uh, his autobiography. Very, very interesting. Uh, he's such an interesting character. He's very outspoken and he's very controversial you know sometimes he says stuff that pisses people off but he doesn't give a shit he's gonna say his opinion and uh i kind of admire that you know sometimes i wish i could do that but you know uh at any rate megadeth is awesome and if you guys want to do a response video feel free or post in the comments below your top 10 megadeth songs and thank you for joining me at Heavy Metal Talk. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Urshan. Tune in and rock on.